4 to 1, Adrian Maguire. Book of Music, 25 to 1, Mick Fitzgerald. Colton, 25 to 1, Jamie Osborne. The Tote Gold Cup winner, Master Oates, is 4 to 1 with Charlie Swan partnering today. Mary Gale at 5 to 1 is the mount of Graham Bradley. Monsieur Le Cure, not unfancied at 20 to 1, Jason Titley's mount. One man, the 3 to 1 at the moment favourite, Richard Dunwoody rides. Val de Len is 9 to 1 with Adam Conrad. Young Hustler, the probable front runner at 25 to 1, Chris Maud. And the lineup completed by Brief Gale, who trades at 12 to 1 in the ring and is ridden by Philip Hyde. Anchored 4 to 1. Master Oates, the Gold Cup winner at 9 to 2, 5 to 1, Mary Gale. At 10, Zen Val de Len and Brief Gale, 10 to 1 now from 12s. At 16 to 1, Algan, 20s, Monsieur Le Cure. And the outsiders all on 25 to 1, Young Hustler, Colton, and Book of Music. Away then with 22 fences in front of them, and it's Young Hustler who normally attacks, and he is doing just that, has the lead at the first, which he jumps safely. And they're all over. Colton is the back marker, one man last of the main group as they begin the turn, at having jumped one fence. Barton Bank showing second, Mr. Le Cure in third. Then we have Algan, Master Oates, Val de Lane, Brief Gale. Uh, then on the inside, Merry Gale lining up towards the second, at which Young Hustler leads. Pops over, Barton Bank in second place. At the rear of the pack, uh, Colton, slightly awkward. Still Young Hustler leading, though, from Merry Gale now into second place. Barton Bank in third. Then we have uh, Monsieur Le Cure and Master Oates and one man in Algan, uh, followed uh, by Val de Lane. And they cross the next, and there's still no change. Up front, it's Young Hustler, the little horse on the inside of Merry Gale. Stride for stride, they are. Barton Bank is in third, and then Algon four, and Monsieur Le Cure five, and Mr. Oates, the inside of one man. And then comes Val de Lane, followed by Book of Music, who's a jumping well the inside, and McColton slightly extravagant at the back. Come to the three railway fences, then, and it's Young Hustler, the yellow cap, the very pale jacket, that's the Irish runner, Merry Gale. Here they are attacking at the sixth and they stream over spectacularly with uh, Brief Gale towards the back. The ground could be a bit lively for her. Here we are coming to the seventh, and it's Mary Gale who has it. And the faller there was Book of Music, and that hampers uh, Brief Gale. Over the next, it's uh, still Mary Gale who leads. Mary Gale, the leader, Young Huster, Barton Bank, and then comes Valdelaine, Algan, and uh, Richard Dunwoody not giving up the inside to anybody on one man. The Mr. Le Cure, Master Oates, and then Colton and Brief Gale is at the back of the pack, and they begin the turn out of the back straight. And they head down towards fence number nine. And it's Mary Gale on the outside of Young Hustler, and stride for stride they are. Barton Bank in third, and then we have Val de Lane in four, followed by one man, uh, the grey, attacking well in five. The red colours of Algan out wide, the orange jacket even wider, Monsieur Le Cure, rising at the pond fence, the ninth in this uh, King George triple print chase. Colton towards the back, the blue colours is Brief Gale, that's uh, well in the rears as well. They head down towards fence number 10 and they've completed a mile at uh, Helter Skelter pace joined up front by Mary Gale on the outside of Young Hustler and then we have Barton Bank and one man the grey two lengths back to Master Oates in the black and yellow the orange Monsieur Le Cure the dark blue of the black cap that's Val de Lane as they leap this ditch then comes Colton and Brief Gale out the back and so the order as they come up past us with a circuit to go is that it's Young Hustler leading, two in second place, Mary Gale, then one man and Barton Bank and Monsieur Le Cure and Master Oates and Val de Lane and Algun and then Colton, detached by about ten lengths, was Brief Gale, who uh, took out, was taken out by the fall on the back of Book of Music, and it looks as if that fence is going to be omitted next time. So it's a Young Hustler leading as they swing right-handed. To in second place, uh, Mary Gale, then Barton Bank, the inside, and one man. Then we have Master Oates going the shortest way under Charlie Swan. That's a horse with a noseband. On the right in blue is Val de Lane, and they come down towards fence number 12. Brief Gale is at the back of the pack. Meanwhile, it's still Young Hustler and Mary Gale, and one man coming through into third place now as they jump the 12th. Mary Gale slightly awkward there. Master Oates was very uh, clumsy out the back. Brief Gale continuing but tailing off. They've got a mile and a quarter to go in the King George Triple Bridge chase and it's Richard Dunwoody coming through strongly on one man to take up the running as they head down the back stretch. Mary Gale in second place 
and then the French runner Valdelay in the blue colours uh, getting significantly closer. Then Monsieur Le Cure running his best race for a long time. Colton is getting closer under uh, Jamie Osborne. They cross the 14th and uh, did a bit of bunching midfield there, but uh, one man is uh, setting sail for home with a mile to go. He's got a length out of over Valdelay and a spectacular jump there. Mary Gale just losing its pitch. Uh, Algan is at the back, but it's one man leading, really striding on well under Richard Dunwoody. A great performance this. They head down towards the water jump, but it's one man who uh, shows the way. Two in second place, Valdelaine and Barton Bank. Colton's getting closer, then Young Hustler. Monsieur Le Cure is just in behind these. They head down towards the middle of the railway fences, and it's uh, the first of the railway fences, the middle one they omit. One man comes to it. Oh, what a great jump there! And it's one man who has the edge to Val de Lane in second place. Monsieur Le Cure, the orange colours. Colton's getting closer. They've uh, bypassed that fence because of, of the prostrate brook of music. Last on the far side, one man. Monsieur Le Cure makes a mistake. Colton makes a mistake. Val de Lane, not that fluent. Uh, Algan is staying on, but it's one man. And uh, the 11 to 4 favourite with three fences between him in the King George the Triple Print Chase. But picking up, look at the black and yellow. Here goes Master Oates, the Gold Cup winner. The outside of Barton Bank, the winner of this race in this in the two years ago. Orange colours, Michel Le Cure is staying on again, but they've got three to jump. And it's one man who has the answers here. He holds the aces at this stage. They've got just under half a mile to go. One man clear from Michel Le Cure in second. Gold Cup winner, Master Oates in third. Mer uh, from the back, uh, Colton is staying on. There we go, three out. That was Michel Le Cure, Master Oates uh, on the inside. Val de Lane with a run, but one man with two fences between him and victory in the King George Triple Print Chase. Come down towards the second last and one man, Barton Bank, has been pulled up. One man has it. Uh, he's gone 10-12 clear of Michel Le Cure in second. Master Oates plugging on well in third. Then Val de Lane. Mary Gale has been pulled up. This is the final fence and it's one man comes to it and he is spring-heeled. And it's Richard Dunwoody driving home clear on one man going to land his 13th win. Another improving grey horse. He's come from the north to conquer despite those fitness doubts one man is going to raise the roof and take the king george triple bridge chase at the post one man the winner Michel Le Cure back on the premises in second master Rhodes is third then we have Val Delane in four and young husker five colton is going to be eased right down on the flat and uh, algan is going to pass him brief gale continues mary gale was pulled up the 11 to 4 favorite has won this this is one man in the colours of Mr. J. Hales, written by Richard Dunwoody, being congratulated there by Jason Titley and being congratulated by Charlie Swan. Just spare a thought for Tony Dobbin, though, stable jockey for uh, Gordon Richards. But the winner of this, the King George Triple Print, is number eight on the card. One man, spring heeled at all the fences, and Richards, uh, 41st winner of the season, and getting a lot of uh, well deserved pats after taking this race apart. Second horse home, that's number seven, Monsieur Le Cure. On really heavy ground, he's going to be an interesting runner in the Tote Gold Cup. Third horse home was number five, Master Oates, who's... Four favourite, second number seven, Monsieur Le Cure at 25 to one, and third number five, Master Oates at nine to two. The win tote paid three pounds 60, places 180, 330, and two pounds 90. The dual forecast, 29 pounds 70, and the CSF, 60 pounds and 83 pence.